quick little video just to kind of explain uh, just give a couple of updates to the channel uh, and what's going to be happening basically over the next I don't know question mark amount of time uh, basically lately everything that can go wrong sort of is going wrong and I don't know if I broke a mirror or, or pissed off a witch or something but uh, holy god so uh, I'm currently standing outside an airport in a certain place which I'm not really allowed to talk about uh, because I was in a certain place doing a certain thing um, wasn't for my channel it was for something else uh, yeah so everything was going great everything was going fine so I get back to the the airport for I think it was like about 8 p like 8 p.m. was my flight back home and uh, like I'm oh dear what have I done did I do a thing did I do a thing I don't know oh okay here we are right so um, my flights at eight o'clock uh, my friend drops me and my other friend off here at the airport at uh, did I break the video or is it working okay shit I hate doing that I'm such a mess up right so anyway we get dropped off here at the airport and we go inside we go through security everything's grand uh, so we have a couple of minutes to kill. We go to Burger King, we get some food. Uh, and then next thing you know, my friend's flight's called because he lives in a different part of the world than I do. So he buggers off and gets his flight. Meanwhile, my gate is still reading, uh, please wait. So I wait, and I wait, and I wait. My friend's already on his plane. He's uh, texting me from the runway saying, oh yeah, like uh, I hope you get sorted soon, blah, blah, blah. Right, I have to go. My plane's taken off. So I'm still sitting there looking at this uh, departure board going, right, where's my flight? What, like, what's my gate? And it gets to like a quarter to eight and my flight's at eight o'clock and I'm like, where the hell is it? And I'm sitting there and I'm going like, right, what do I do? So fortunately enough, I have a braid in my head and I have a tongue in my mouth. And it's my own tongue, you dirty sons of... Anyway, so... I, uh, I I figure I'll go find customer information or whatever, passenger information, and I'll ask them, hey, what the hell, where's my flight? And by the time that I get there, there's a whole queue of people. It's like a mob of people at the customer services. And right as I walk up, I hear one of the, uh, the people that work in the airport going, okay, follow me, follow me. All the people that were in the, the canceled Belfast flight, uh, follow me. So we go in through uh, Terminal 1, we walk out onto the tarmac, and we walk back in to the airport. And they go, okay, if you had any hold luggage, please pick it up and uh, basically go to the, the EasyJet desk. So I didn't have any hold luggage. That, the, this right here is the entirety of my luggage that I brought with me. I wasn't here very long. I was only here a couple of days. So um, I didn't have any whole luggage to pick up. So I go to the EasyJet desk and I'm one of the first people there and they say, we're really sorry, but your flight has been canceled. And I go, great. So you couldn't have sent a message to anyone basically going, hey, do you know that those big screens that are all over the airport? Instead of putting please wait and making everyone sit there and wait like decades, why don't you put a big thing up that says cancel please go to customer information or something so fortunately i'm at the front of the queue because i didn't have any whole luggage uh and they said okay well we'll put you on another flight that will take you out at 7 a.m but be at the airport for 4 a.m which is where i currently am right now that's good isn't it uh so i'm sitting there going right well it's about what half eight now flights at 4 a.m what do i do do i just basically sit about the airport do i reenact the the, the tom hanks movie uh the terminal which i funnily enough was thinking about i always think about that movie whenever i'm at an airport but anyway so uh i text the people who i was staying with because i wasn't at a hotel i was staying with a few people in their flat i text them and i say here my flight's been cancelled and they go okay well you can get a bus come back so i got a double decker bus I got one of those bad boys and I 
made my way back to their flat. And I stayed with them for another couple of hours or so. And uh, stayed with them a little while, then got another bus, and now I'm here again at the airport at four in the morning when I should be at home, asleep, or possibly edit editing a video. Anyway, so all that sorted now. Everything's grand. Just a little opening preamble, just to tell you what's been happening and yada yada yada. But man, just lately it feels like I've just, I've hit the bad luck button on life, which if you know anything about me at all, you'll know like, shit, this guy's had enough bad luck as it is. Will you give him a break? Uh, you may have seen the live stream that me and Anthony did. Uh, I think it was like two weeks ago now where I was talking about my experiences in Wolverhampton, uh, what happened to my car, and yada yada yada. So, now there's this. But anyway, so as for the channel, uh, we did the drop zone last week, that went out okay. Uh, we had Doctor Who Series 2, The Stupid Bits, that went out, don't, don't give me money, don't give me money, this isn't, uh, oh shit, feel sorry for Steven, this is literally so you guys know what happened and what's going on hence the title of the video anyway uh yeah so on friday we put out doctor who series two the stupid bits which i hope everyone watched everyone laughed blah 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 uh also youtube are being real dickheads lately whenever it comes to non-commercialized youtube channels i guess like non-corporational youtube channels so uh for people for us normies that are trying to make it in the big wide world all on our own Please, whatever you do, hit the bell. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button. Because either that or YouTube's just gonna go, oh, well, this guy's irrelevant. Like, you don't deserve his videos. When everyone knows, of course you all deserve my videos. I'm amazing. Help a guy out, will you? Come on, I'm struggling enough as it is. Uh, yeah, so tap the bell icon next to the subscribe button and basically that acts as your new subscribers button. So you hit that and I time I upload a video, your like YouTube will go bing and it'll be like, oh hey, vote sucks so seven uploaded a new video. Because I think that's what's going wrong lately. One good thing YouTube did lately though is this whole new thing with uh the subscribers uh like listing thing on the on the channel. So instead of like the actual full amount of subscribers you have, it's now kind of rounding it down or rounding it up. So instead of saying twenty-five thousand eight hundred and such and such it's now saying 25.8k and there's no way to see what your actual subscriber count is so that's kind of taking the edge off me a little bit because i'll not lie to you i do get sucked into youtube sometimes and i do kind of focus on likes to dislikes i focus on views i focus on subscribers and youtube for a while was doing this thing and i think it's still doing it now i don't know because they've changed it where you would upload a video and instantly 10 subscribers <laughs> Thanos clicked out of existence. So now with this new subscriber setup thing, it's kind of nice because it means that, um, you know, like I upload a video and it still says 25.8, which is lovely. So I'm not worrying about that anymore. That's cool. Uh, yeah, so this week coming in, there was like a bug or something. This week coming in, I have a video and it's a video that a lot of people have been requesting me and Anthony to do, which is the Doctor Who B&M sets. Now, we're not reviewing every single one. It's just a couple that I picked out that I was like, I want to talk about these. And it's not like a normal, like, Vote Saxon review. Like, there is stuff with, like, the white background and everything, but it's more kind of like a spoilerific review, but just with toys. So it's me and Anthony sitting down and kind of unboxing them and talking about them and then there's close-up shots where you'll see like the toy close up like as you normally would in a review so that's what's going on there uh i have yet to edit that i was hoping to have it edited but life shit constantly gets in the way so it will be a little bit of a while but i should have that ready to go like i was hoping to be home by now and have like I literally, my plan was get the plane at eight o'clock, be home by nine, well, be at the airport for nine, get to the, get to my house for say half nine, 10, and then just start editing because it's already filmed. We have the footage, it's all shot. It just needs editing. 
So because my plane was delayed or cancelled and I had to go through all this bullshit to get a new plane ticket, that is kind of postponed now. So maybe Monday evening, Tuesday evening, I hope to have it done for it. It'll probably be Tuesday, let's be honest. Because whenever I get home, my flight's at 7 now, 7 a.m. on a Monday morning instead of being 8 a.m. on a Sunday night. Uh, it means I'll probably just go home, have a bath, and then just collapse into bed because I'm wrecked. I have had such nothing but just constant stress and anxiety and worry. I had a great time over here, don't get me wrong, in this secret location, but I just, uh, all this stuff has just drained me, so I need to go to sleep. Uh, so Tuesday, I'll aim for Tuesday. Now, there's more kind of problems going on at the moment because Anthony's not too well. Uh, he, he, like, I, I'm not going to sit here and uh, talk on Anthony's behalf or anything like that. But I was I was on the phone with him there earlier tonight, just while I was you know waiting for the bus back to here again. Um, I had a long, long chat with him. His back is very, very sore. Now Anthony has had back problems for as long as I've known him. He had an accident a couple of years ago. Again, it's not my place to say, so I'll keep this as vague as I can because the man deserves his dignity and he deserves his own privacy and his own respect. But Anthony isn't too well. So his back is very, very sore and he's had a lot of problems with his back. They are getting worse. So the, there'll be no drop zone review this week. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, I, I've always said like, that's, that's the thing now, like I won't do a review unless Anthony's there. Uh, because I just I don't have the, the time or the, the energy anymore so uh, no drop zone review for this week uh, I'll see if I can put together like a pardon me a, a quick video or something I've got hiccups now but I'll, I'll see if I'll put together something uh, to talk about it because apparently it's, a, it's an amazing episode uh, likewise, we were going to start doing Doctor Who Series 3 for the spoiler freak reviews. In fact, in the calendar on my phone today, the 16th, isn't it the 16th? I think it's the 16th. I don't know. Time zones. But basically, that was the plan to start Doctor Who Series 3. We're going to do The Runaway Bride this week. But that's out the window. Because, I mean, Anthony's just so done between like everything that happened with Wolverhampton and again it's kind of like this situation where the, the trip itself and everything that we did there wonderful wouldn't change it for the world but just the, the journey home it took so much out of us now Anthony has a lot of like issues with his back we had to walk we had to walk so many goddamn miles in order to uh, get home again because of the whole car situation. So, yeah, it kind of took a toll on it. It took a toll on me as well. Like, I'm not lying. I mean, like, look at me. I'm a fat mess. I'm not expected to walk long distances. And again, the same things just happened here tonight where it's been hell. It actually has because, like, see on the way over here, Got a taxi to the airport, got my plane over, and right there, right at those front doors, my friend picked me up and picked up my other friend and took us to where we had to go and did all this stuff. So, yeah, the, and all this on the way home has just been a colossal cluster shambles of a thing. <sighs> So yeah, um, we're going to give Anthony a bit of a break because he, he deserves it. I need a break as well because I've been pushing myself and pushing myself and pushing myself. And do you know what the good thing about all this is? It's actually proven to me that when shit fucks up, I can deal with it. Like, me and Anthony dealt with it together in the whole Wolverhampton bullshit thing. But this is the first time where I've had to deal with this shit solo. And I think I've come through squeaky clean because I've got my revised ticket. I was 
pre-booked last night to uh, like get this flight that's going out at seven. Uh, so I'm literally just off the bus. I went into the airport uh, and got my ticket. So that's in my bag right now. That's that's done. So all's good there. So uh, after I end this, I'm gonna go through security. I went through security last night, by the way. So this is now the, the third time over this weekend that I've had to go through airport security. Brexit, class. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll go through security. I'll see if anywhere's open so I can get a coffee or something because I'm dying and I smell like a tramp's armpit. See, I'm so disgusting right now. I just, I feel horrible like in and of myself uh don't worry i'll i'll end this first uh, i'll end this soon uh, and then you can re-watch this because i'll leave it up because it's just um one of those things so we're gonna take a, a little bit of a, a resty rest but there'll still be stuff going up on the channel because we we filmed loads of stuff it just needs edited so there'll be a video coming out with anthony in it uh on tuesday night fingers crossed uh, and meanwhile, Stephen is gonna get himself back into that big old building right over there uh, and hopefully get on a plane and just get home and collapse for like a month. Uh, but don't worry, we do have big things planned. Like we're, we're, we're gonna get ourselves rested. We're gonna get ourselves uh, like clear heads because the most important thing is mental health and physical health. And if we don't have either of those, we're not going to be making good videos. We're going to be making videos that are shit. We're going to piss you all off. And you're going to have a bad time. And you're going to be like, fuck these guys. These guys are dickheads. Like, why the fuck am I watching this stuff? And that's that's the last thing that I want. Because, like, for me, YouTube started as a hobby. Then it became a business. Then it became, oh my god, this is a career. And now it's just like, catch yourself on. Wise your head, you weapon. Make this a hobby. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. Enjoy watching Doctor Who. Enjoy watching robots fight each other. Uh, and and talk about the things that you want to talk about. And share what matters to you with people that you matter to. That's actually not a bad life lesson. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's happening to me? I'm growing up. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not nice. I'm all wise and stuff, and it's it's horrible. Um, thank God for alcohol. That's all I, I'll say. Uh, right. So, to wrap this all up with a nice big bow, as the French say, other countries are available. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah so lots and lots of stuff is planned um i really hope you guys enjoy the spoilerific review format that we have uh we've kind of tweaked it a little bit for the drop zone we're going to tweak it a little more and we're going to do other things because your boy here is turning 30 next year in a lack of months february 2020 stephen john thomas mccullough that is my real name, will turn 30 years old. Yeah. I look older, don't I? So, like when I turned 25 and I did the uh, the sort of toys I loved as a kid reviews, I have stuff planned for that. Don't wish me a happy birthday yet. It's not until next February, blah, blah, blah. There's still Christmas and stuff, so that's cool. And Halloween, let's not forget Halloween. And Thanksgiving for our American friends too. who are no doubt the only people watching this at stupid o'clock in the morning. Right, uh, things that we have planned. I don't know if I can give it away yet, but we do have things and they are planned by us. And it's basically, it's like the, the working title for it is timey wimey stuff. But that's all I'll say for now. Uh, and there's other things as well, like um, Adventures in Time and Space or something like that uh, will be the name of the series. Uh, yeah, and it's going to be reviews and stuff like that. So that's cool, isn't it? Burr, burr, burr. Uh. <laughs> you caught me out, you son of a... 
Anyway, very clever, very well done. Or, or, is that bus here to get repaired? Hmm. See, you don't know. You don't know? Maybe you do know. Maybe I know nothing. But either way, uh, thanks so much for watching all this rambling shite of a dickhead standing in front of a... a I was going to call it a hotel. It's it's an airport. <laughs> I'm standing outside an airport. Look, there's, there's check-in. There's arrivals <laughs> all the way over there. Fucking weapon. Pure weapon. Why is your fucking head, you weapon? Right. Um, everything's fine. I'm cool. Just a little head, heads up to all the shit and piss and wank and stuff. It's very foggy. It's a very foggy morning. Right. Um, I'm going to fuck off now. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Um, I'll see you on the other side. Bye. <laughs>